everyone, Scrappy Jess here, and today I'm going to show you how to print your sentiment on a piece of cardstock and then cut it out just like you would a stamp. So I'm going to choose New Arrival right here on my Imagine. Go up and edit it. Go over here to the colors. Let's see. I like that one. There we go. And then I'm going to go down here, go to true, which is the sizing, um, what do they call it on the expression? Real dial size what it is. I'm going to go down to 0.8. It's a pretty good size. And then you can just use this button on the side to be your next button. And we'll go under settings. I want print only and best quality. Go to apply. Next again. There we go. And I've discovered if it just prints, it just spits it out the back. If it prints and cuts, then it goes down through the blade. Alrighty, and now I want to go back and I want to choose something to print and cut. Use my backspace to get that out of here, and I'm going to go into my Imagine More cartridge, and I decided that I wanted this little guy right here. I'll edit him. Let's see. I want him to be four inches. I think he's cute just how he is. Let's go push that and then I'll apply it. Start your mat. We're good. Settings. And I want print and cut now. Whoops. Print and cut. Apply that. Next. Moderate pressure. Takes it in. For the new arrival part, I used my American Crafts cardstock that prints really well. And then for my image, I'm using photo paper. I had a huge 100 pack of Kodak paper that I've probably had for five years. So I didn't go out and buy anything fancy, I just had it on the shelf and it's working really well. So I'm going to go with it. I know that um, American Crafts cardstock is cutting and printing really well. My coordination is cutting and printing really well. Um, I haven't tried Nursery Tales on the American Crafts or the coordinations. I tried it on Walmart brand, Target brand, and Basil. And didn't really have any luck with any of them. Here we go, we're getting ready to... Cut it out. just hands it right back to you so make sure that you have this little thing out if you're not going to be right there to catch it. Let's put that in and make sure that you power it down. It doesn't power down on its own. I left it on for about an hour last night 
I realized that it was still on. Okay, I'm going to get set up and then we'll come over here and make a card. Okay, we're back and I'm going to cut this 8.5 by 11 coordinations at 5.5. And then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And then we'll be ready to get our card done. It's called an A2 size card. There we go. Score. This is really thick cardstock, so if you score it, it's just a little easier to get it to fold over. I'm just going to run your nail or your bone folder or something over that. There we go. Oh, that's pretty big. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. That's right, we'll make it work. I'm going to get my ATG gun. I'm going to use my ATG gun. Add some adhesive. Easier than I planned. It's okay. And stick it to my card base. Oh, I want ribbon. Let's see, I have this really pretty pastel purple. That'll go. Tie a little bow with it. The reason it's so long is it's the last on your roll. So, I'm not wasting it. I'll use some more of it. I just want to make it easy. Tie with the big end. There we go. I'm going to twist it and turn it until the pretty sides up on both sides. Grab my scissors over here. Oops. Put it at an angle. Side two. Alrighty. Adjust it. It's cute. I like that. There we go. I'm gonna use my paper trimmer. Cut out my sentiment. Take off my scoring blade, put it on my cutting blade. Sorry, I'm hurrying. I know this video is getting really long. There we go. One more. Use my corner rounder to make the corners look finished. Got some pop dots. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put that up there. New arrival. And we're done. There you go. I'll take a picture and put it on my blog. Thank you. I'll see you next time.